From the Hudson to the Heartline, Manhattan to the Missouri, this is Carded Off with James, Greg, and Pete. And wow, what a weekend of football. Last week we were talking about how some of these games and some of these games were not that good. I think this weekend more than made up for it. What do you take it? Go ahead. Uh, Best divisional round ever. Yeah, James. Yeah, I I was going to say a lot of this year I spent saying, like, what am I doing with my Sundays, especially because my team sucked the big one. But um, this was a reminder of why football is special and it can it can give you a few hours of just absolutely getting absorbed in a just basically the closest we have to like watching gladiatorial games, just like awesome back and forths and a wonderful weekend with a large amount of variety to what we saw as well. Exactly, exactly. Well, let's get into the first game right away. We saw the Cincinnati Bengals go to their first AFC championship since the 80s, since the 1988 season, 89 championship game. And Evan McPherson, kicker, rookie out of Florida, the only kicker picked in this year's draft. In the fifth round, he was 149th overall. He sent Cincinnati to the championship game. What did we see there from Joe Burrow, McPherson, the rest of the Bengals? And are those weapons good enough there to defeat that team as we saw? Um, I uh, I was impressed with the Chiefs. Uh, uh, not the Chiefs, I'm sorry. I, I was impressed with the Bengals, um, especially Joe Burrow, taking an absolute shellacking, getting sacked nine times. driven to the ground many of them looking like they really hurt um and and just persevering enough and like they look overmatched at at a lot of times by the defensive line and and uh the titans however as i did predict guys um Tannehill both got unlucky and he's not very good uh henry also as i predicted didn't look like henry he, um, he, he got stopped behind the line a lot. Um, he didn't run, got, run over guys. He tended to get stopped and then mobbed and dropped a lot. There was a huge run, I believe, in the third quarter. That was the backup. That was not Henry. I remember. Uh, yeah, Henry basically did nothing. But this game was so hard hitting, it kept me engrossed the whole time. What, yeah, what do you I think? think I, I personally think a lot of it was just – you know, it was a hard-hitting game, but Cincinnati got out very quickly. Um, they got up with field goals. Uh, weren't a lot of touchdowns in this game. This was going to be a position of field, a field position game. We saw the Tennessee defense absolutely run over their line. But I think, like you said, credit to Burrow hanging in there. Second-year guy, only his uh, first playoff game. And he really, really hung in there. And I think a lot of it, too, is you look at a lot of the fan base of Cincinnati and some of the stuff they've been through, the Bungles years, which lasted a very long time. I'm personally happy for them. I think this is a dangerous team. And they were able to, you know, hang in there and then put the dagger in with those field goals. I I have a quick James, go ahead. Before we kick it over to Pete for his take on it, did you guys hear what McPherson said going in to Mm -hmm. take the kick of the game? I heard it. What did he say? He said, I guess we're going to the AFC championship. That that takes a, a lot of sack for a kicker to say that to his team. Like, what if he had missed? But, oh, man, I, I kind of like it. And what he's a think, 22-year-old rookie, too, which is kind of crazy. He'll probably be in the league for the next 15 years. A lot of sack, yeah. First-round draft choice. Oh, not first round, but it was the only kicker drafted in that draft. <laughs> um, but, yes, yeah, so this is what we're taking from this game. We're taking that Burrow – toughness oh the kicker was great i mean those are weak things to talk about when a team came up uh with a win especially at a, i mean the stage was there it was a big stage but i mean really um not not exciting things to talk about you know there's nothing flashy about that uh this was this weekend was uh, a gambler's nightmare and a spectator's dream um Everything that you wanted to see as a spectator in terms of a wild finishes and unpredictability and you know, where was this going to go? Nobody knew who was going to win that game. The entire game, the entire time it was being played. But the key thing, you know what I looked at it? What I looked at from that game was the Bengals did not impress me at all. Uh, I'm going to pull out some stats for you. One for eight on third down, one for five in the red zone, uh, 
sacked nine times, uh, seven penalties for uh, over 70 yards. I mean, these are things that result in losses. If, if I painted those statistics out to you before the game started, you would hands down undoubtedly say that, oh, yeah, that, there's no way that team won. Uh, Absolutely. And, and, and the thing is, is we've seen quarterbacks throw three interceptions in a game and still come out on top. You know, turnovers are turnovers, but, you know, you could score in the red zone. I mean, if you look at Tannehill's numbers, they actually weren't that bad. Uh, you take the, the interceptions away. Oh, it wasn't, yeah. It wasn't bad at all. And, you know, obviously. Other than Henry, that, how was the play, Mrs. Lincoln? Well, I you listen, know. play calling. How about that? You know, and the other thing is, is, is defensively, they came ready to play. I, I mean, I just don't understand a lot of the play calling, the risks they took. They made turnovers at the worst possible times. Um, I, you know, those those statistics. It, I just can't. I, know, get past right. I just can't get past the statistics, but that's my take. Well, you still got to play the games. That's the one thing I found pretty interesting about this game. I mean, Tannehill, you got his team was down ten points. He led them back. He tied them, and he had them in a position to win. But you know, it just wasn't good enough. Maybe he just doesn't have that. They ran out the clock. They were running out the clock, and I understand the strategy there. You probably don't want to give the ball back to the other team to try to score. Um, you know, they were preserving their timeouts and 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 everything, but uh, and they took a timeout before that interception play. I believe they did. You know, this carries over from the Raiders game in terms of the Bengals getting really lucky. There was a timeout that was trying to be called before that final interception. You know, and, and had the ref, uh, you know, granted the timeout, that interception never happens. Tennessee keeps the ball. You don't know what happens going forward. Maybe he still throws a pick, but it's not in that fashion. Uh, Maybe. You know, right. And there, there's a lot of things. I, I, I just uh, I don't believe in this Bengals team. Yes, yeah. is my my opinion. I believe that not only is Kansas City's offense better, but their defense is better. You know that last right. game was played in Cincinnati. This upcoming yeah. game is in Kansas City. All right. we'll, that's, see, that's a, we'll that's see where a that goes. Take that Kansas City's better than than the Bengals. Come on, we'll, we can we'll do see better. where they go though. We got we got anything else to say on the Titans uh, Bengals game this week? Uh, I just I just want to know if you guys still still think Tannehill's a decent quarterback. Oh no, he's not. He's not. Okay. I thought he was, I, I I think that as long as you admit that. I he's, thought he was he's not, he's not you can do better. I'll say that. that I don't think that's so good in Tennessee. Yeah. It's so good and they showed it. And that, that was exactly where my money was at. It was on Tennessee's defense to show up that game and they showed up. Uh, well, then, moving on. Uh, the second second Saturday game, second game we'll talk about in this segment. In an upset special, the Green Bay Packers go down to the San Francisco 49ers, led by a blocked punt and a field goal to win it in the final seconds in the snow at Lambeau Field. Are we shocked that the 49ers came away with the victory? I had said they were going to win, put money on that money line, and I hit it. I'm going to say I'm shocked that they came out with a win. Again, uh, and um, kudos to you for having the bet, the money in the right place. I took the Packers. I just want to say that, uh, um, you know, everybody was coming up with reasons why San Francisco might win the game before the game started. They all talked about defense. They all talked about, um, you know, Green Bay's run defense and how strong uh, San Francisco is uh, running the football. You know, all these little things, it's like a good matchup, and none of that came into play in this game. San Francisco did nothing on offense. They completely got shut out, and not one person said, oh, hey, San Francisco's special teams is better than the Packers, and that's no. the reason why they're going to win on, on Saturday. I mean, that block punt, again, the drama, making it the best watching day of football. Well, not watching day, best watching weekend of football. You know, block punts for touchdowns, that's what everybody wants to see. To see With under five ball. minutes left. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. Go ahead, yeah, James. What do you think? Well, this game started off with a precision attack by Aaron Rodgers, slicing, dicing, going down the field, feeding it, feeding Aaron Jones. They looked awesome. Scored the touchdown. I was like, this game is going to be a blowout. 
And then it just all stopped. <laughs> um, Jimmy, Gar- you know, I almost feel bad last week saying that um, Tannehill was the worst playoff quarterback. Jimmy Garoppolo is <laughs> he's like he's really funny to watch. Here, here's one for you guys. Jimmy Garoppolo has won three playoff games in his career, right? Zero touchdowns in those three winning games. <laughs> that's, I think I, 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 something is that's very interesting to me. <laughs> Did he uh, have touchdowns in the Super Bowl? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, it's the ones that he won. The the games that he won. Oh, he gotcha, gotcha, zero gotcha. touchdowns, <laughs> and that's that's interesting. Um, that's- yeah, me, meanwhile, like, you know, spoiler alert, Josh Allen had four and he lost but in one game. But we'll, we'll get to that. Oh, boy, will we get to that. Um, early in the game, uh, Jimmy G was hitting – he hit uh, Kittle in the numbers at one point and uh, another receiver in the hands, like, almost back-to-back. And I was like, they're just not on. They're, they're, they're not going to be able to do this. And then the second half started and the snow started falling and it just was like really nice to watch, but not really from a football standpoint. We saw a lot of sloppy play and um, it felt like Aaron Rodgers was going to win a hideous game until that uh, worst in the league special teams acted up, which no one was talking about. You're hundred percent right, Pete. This is the stuff people cling to after the fact. It was like, oh well, they're special teams. Uh, yeah. Special teams. No one, no, no one mentions it at all. No, but it's after important. The fact, they're like, oh, block punt. Oh, look, look how bad their special teams are. But uh, you know, that that game also interested me just because of the atmosphere and the snow and that that big play at the end with the block punt. What did you think, Greg? I thought it was very interesting. I didn't see it. I had an overnight the night before, but watching those highlights was pretty crazy. In hindsight, I think a lot of it too, I think like Jimmy Garoppolo managed the game. He made sure not to give Aaron Rodgers position in the field that he needed to it. He didn't make it easier for him. He threw a couple of interceptions. That's okay. You know, um, I think a lot of it too was just relying on that defense. I think they're very, very lucky they blocked that punt. I think that was, I'm not saying they were lucky blocking it, but they were lucky at the timing of it. And I think what happened there, it broke the Packers back. Um, and you know what? San Francisco got the ball back, drove down the field, and uh, former Chicago Bears kicker Robbie Gould sunk the, the uh, Packers oh, season for the San Francisco 49ers. But they will be moving on facing the Los Angeles Rams and that classic rivalry. But we're going to talk about that in our next segment. Then we'll get to that in a bit. This has been the first part. We'll see you soon.